No, I'm going to tell you, I did find the collection, women that wear Herrera. I think I want them to be sophisticated, independent, um, feminine, elegant, with some allure. And they are classic, the designs are classic, with, with a very modern touch. For me, sunglasses and glasses to read are the most important of all because I think it's an accessory that everybody adores. The sunglasses especially, and especially here in LA. <laughs> you see many people with the glasses on, but I also, um, I think it adds something to a woman, to a man, to fashion. That's why they change with collections. Women and men and everybody who wants to see, who, wants, who goes into a place to buy something, the first question they ask is, what is new? So you have to have newness in fashion. That's why it's so important. And that is because of the colors, because of the cut of the dresses, because of the materials that one mixes. And so that makes it new and uh, exciting. You can be um, totally private with a, a pair of wonderful big sunglasses. You can change your personality, it's very easy. And also you feel very, very comfortable wearing glasses because if you don't have any makeup or, or you don't have, a, um, you know, you, have, you went to bed very late or whatever, you take a pair of sunglasses and you go out and you think that nobody's going to see you. <laughs> It's a good compliment. <laughs> to have a very good quality, and second, they have to fit. It's like wearing a dress that doesn't fit you. Sometimes you see this person wearing the glasses that are here, because every time she does that, they collapse, no? It has to be well fitted, like a dress. You know, there, there is a lot of eyewear companies but I think I chose uh, Base Curve because I think they have the best quality and the glasses are exactly like the ones I like to use. They fit well, they have the best quality and uh, the best designs. What else do we need? The inspiration for the Caroline Herrera eyewear collection really comes from Mrs. Herrera herself and her fashion and her apparel. And when we work together, it's really about addressing who the Carolina Herrera woman is. It's about designing eyewear for a woman who's sophisticated, elegant, um, and wants a sort of casual sense of elegance. It's about adding special embellishments and details and really giving the eyewear an artisan's touch. Well, the actual design inspiration can come from a lot of different sources. And, and sometimes for Mrs. Herrera, they're, they can be very literal and sometimes they can be very esoteric. And one of the most esoteric uh, sources in, of inspiration that I received from her was this picture of this woman wearing a full veil of lace over her head. And um, what I sort of took away from that was sort of a sense of allure, but also wanting to use lace um, as part of um, the materials that we used in the, in the frames, because she uses a lot of lace in her apparel. So what we actually did was take the lace and laminate it between crystalline sheets of acetate and then rather than mill out the area where the lens typically goes, we actually just sculpted that area to look like a lens. So the lace actually covered the entire frame including the area where the lens normally would be. So it really gave uh, the wearer a sense of allure and mystery which I think was really the attitude that she wanted to achieve. So we used this on the runway um, and it got a lot of great publicity and a lot of great press uh, and we did sell it. Uh, through a limited edition program, uh, but we also modified it, uh, taking it from the runway to reality, and it also became wildly popular um, at the retail level as well. Though Mrs. Herrera's collection is always very feminine, um, she also has a bit of sort of masculine sensibility that's feminized, and so we wanted to take that and also take a bit of a vintage sensibility to it as well. And so we developed the H723, which actually has now become Mrs. Herrera's personal frame. And it's a round vintage frame with vintage hinges and the temples have anti-slip uh, markings on the inside of the temples, which also gives it a very vintage sensibility in the hand. 
Again, one of the esoteric uh, images that I received from Mrs. Herrera was a picture of a couch, and it was really about the color and the attitude. So it's about bringing reds and browns and khakis and greens, but also hitting it with bright spots of white. And so the, the frame that we developed was really a frame that incorporated the colors, but also the design elements. So we used laser engraving to actually achieve that sort of floral pattern. And to achieve the bits of white, we took real mother of pearl and hand cut them, hand laid them, and inset them by hand into the frame itself. So it really gave a nice bit of detail and bit of pop. And Mrs. Herrera loves to use a lot of hand embroidery, a lot of embellishments, a lot of details, a lot of beading in her work because it really does speak to the artisan hand that she has and the, and the sensibility that she brings to her product. So we've developed a number of, of styles like the 708, the 713 that really play to that woman who wants that extra bit of elegance and extra bit of shine and bling to her, to her eyewear wardrobe. So we use um, Swarovski crystals, they're all hand set. We also use studs. On the 708, for instance, there are over 300 studs and stones that are individually uh, hand placed. And so there's a lot of workmanship and a lot of hand craftsmanship that goes into her, uh, to her eyewear. One of the motifs that she's using this season is this concentric circle. And it's about taking the geometrics, but also layering the circles on top of each other. So you have this um, concentric pattern. So we developed this special technique where we use multi-layered acetates and up to 16 layers. And then we then take that acetate and laminate it onto a temple base and then cut and mill out patterns. Um, we have sort of a, a rounded square. We also have triangles on, for instance, the 728 on the sunglass. So it really gives a nice um, interest. It gives a bit of geometric pop. And from a technical standpoint, it's also very, very difficult uh, to make. Well, since our recent launch, we've had a tremendous response, not only from the consumers, but also from the, from the consumer press. And it's really been very rewarding and, and exciting to see that we're, the kind of press we've received in magazines like W, L, Harper's Bazaar, Shape, uh, Town and Country. And we've also had a tremendous amount of uh, celebrities that wear the glasses. So for instance, Julie Louise Dreyfus and the girls from The Office, um, the TV show on NBC. And we've also outfitted uh, now the infamous Paris Hilton. And the list goes on with actresses like Reese Witherspoon, Renee Zellweger, uh, Sandra Bullock are some of the uh, celebrities that wear uh, Carolina Herrera sunglasses.